watching Ohio Valley Conference men's basketball on ESPN Plus. Coming to you live from the capital city of Arkansas. The first keys to the game are brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. There's no need to consult the playbook. The winning strategy is to always designate a sober driver because fans don't let fans drive drunk. And we're underway here at the Jack Stevens Center. JB Brazil alongside Patrick Newton. As the Trojans jump out early, two to nothing. Georgia State brought in some three-point shooters from a year ago, but they'll have a drive this time from Ricky Bradley Jr. and he gets the Panthers on the board. Nonetheless, you like to see him looking for his shot early in this game. They'll kick it out. Corner wing three. Leslie in carry him. Pump fake, turnaround, hook from underneath, and he gets it to go. That's a nice play from Incariuum. A little bit of jelly from Kuzmanovic. Three ball corner for Mann. First shot of the game, and he buries it. Georgia State on Sunday really was just the better offensive team. Little Rock has struggled this season as we see a jumper there. Another one from Georgia State, but Little Rock has struggled to. That's a nice drive. Wide open, oh, to ball fake. Through the lane, a lot of contact. Battles through, and he finishes. A little man to man. Now man trying to go one on one with Williamson tough shot over the big fellow Williamson did a great job defending but that way you can stop that. He's an nifty player through the lane nice feed well guarded Turner's going to have a second chance opportunity and he connects from underneath great play from Jaden Turner to stay with it. <laughs> lane through the lane gets it to go. Now Tanari Lane pull up jumper he likes that area and he buries it. Now Bradley Jr. To Lane, Tanari Lane, deep three, and he drains it. <laughs> Goes underneath and carry him. Tough shot, gets it to go in Carriwell. Georgia State trying to keep it alive, they will. Lane, three from the top, no good. Second chance in Carriwell. And he cuts the lead to eight, deficit to eight. At the buzzer, Robinson, no. And it's an eight point Trojan lead. What a action there. Panthers with the ball first, trying to cut into that eight-point lead. And carry you a nice move against Tucker, or pardon me, Crocker Johnson. Did a really good job in the first half. You don't want to revert to those bad habits, though, here after halftime. And Jermaine, man, manhandling down low, fights through contact, and he'll go to the line for the end one try. Hey, Crocker Johnson, quick two fouls on him. Another miss. Quickly, Taylor, corner feed, man. Nice pass to the middle, and Turner's there for the cleanup. Kind of took that drive away from Robinson, and that's what allowed the closeout and the shot clock violation. Now Lane again from the top off a screen, and he buries it. And Panthers got numbers, look to push, trailing it. Lane three, and he is fouled. Chaplin had a career high against Georgia State. KK Robinson's got 24. That's tied for his career high. Behind the back to Downing. Shot clock pass to Gordon, and he is rejected. And Georgia State pushing. Taylor against Robinson. Off the glass and in. Cuts the lead to seven. Odom through the lane. Off the glass. Got it to go. Sends the lead back to seven. Taylor with a nice spin move. Jelly. He gets it to go. And that was a tough shot. Spinning away from the basket, the floater. With the basketball guarded by Chaplin. Trying to take him one-on-one. -on -one. Feeds Turner. Turn around. Tough shot. Got it to go. Shot clock winding down. Trojan's going to have to do something. Gordon doubled. Loses control of the basketball. And we got a foul. In, and draws the foul. And that's going to result in Odom fouling out for Georgia State. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. So recognizes here he has the mismatch on Odom in the post. Odom picks up the whistle. Really didn't look like there was much there, honestly, on the replay. I'm, I'm in, in agreement. Yeah, you not, know, not he, much there at all. He and Taylor both as Odom's out of the game. The rest of the way. Taylor gets a screen. Pulls up. Jumper. That's a big shot. He docks it down. Taylor with it. Crossover. Jump step. Bounce pass. Turner. No foul on it. Gets the loose rebound and puts it up and in. Got to set something up. Through the lane. Throws it up. No good. Scramble for the rebound. Pulled down by Tucker. Georgia State trying to tie or take the lead. Bounce pass. Taylor. Swing it around. Tucker to the lane. And that's a blocking foul, and Tucker's got a chance to tie it up at the line. Mike Holmes coming in with a text message. He thinks the best is 22 of 22. Way back at, uh, let's see, that was back in 2014 at Western Kentucky. That would have been Georgia State's first year in the Sun Belt Conference. Western Kentucky's last year in the Sun Belt. Well, they are a free throw away from tying it. Tucker got it. We're tied at 83. 
The final moments to the lane. Chaplin lays it up. No. Rebound Georgia State. No foul. We're going to overtime. Chaplin backing his way in. Lost the basketball. Trying to maintain possession. And it'll squirt loose. He'll turn it over. Georgia State's got it. We've got good defenses mixed in with a couple of good shots here and there. But Taylor trying to give his team a tie or a lead here. Junior to Turner for the lead. Got it. Nothing but net. What a shot from Jaden Turner. Have not gone away all afternoon in Little Rock with K.K. Robinson out of the game. Reeling here as a big play by Turner on the other end comes away with the steal. Turner doing it on both sides. That's the first lead now for Georgia State since the 7-15 mark in the first half. He'll feed to Tucker. Tucker through the lane. Throws it up. It is swatted around. No call. Turner's there for the cleanup for the putback. He's going to try to go one-on-one -on -one against Tucker. Throws up a tough shot. Scramble for the rebound, and it's going to be pulled down by Turner. They look to push ahead. Lane's got it. Drives in against. That's going to be a block, and Lane will head to the line. This one's really big. He got that one. Kissed the front of the rim, and it rolls over. Big free throw with a two-possession game. Boy, he barely made that second free throw. Big free throw. Got it to go. Uh, about the free throw shooting by Georgia State in this game. They have uh, they have won potentially, not over yet, potentially won this game at the foul line. He gets both to Nari Lane. That's huge. First one. Ooh. Missed it. He missed it. An 83% free throw shooter on the year. He'll have one more. Sets up a potentially very interesting finish here at the Jack Stevenson. Second one's up. Got that one. Yes. Here we go. Douglas will inbounds with four and a half to go. Does Little Rock have it in him? He'll inbound to Jefferson. Three and a half. Jefferson brings it up. Downing for the tie. Deep. No good. And Georgia State has swept the season series as they knock off the Trojans 93-90 in overtime. Great finish. Always interesting those situations. Georgia State elects not to foul there. They had the opportunity, but they play it straight up, come out with the win. All the credit to Georgia State and, and their players, the way they came back in the second half and shot the ball from the foul line. Just an unbelievable effort for the Panthers over the final 25 minutes.